Welcome to First Recaps. Today we are going to explain Italian romantic drama film released in 2023. Two men in their mid-twenties meet and fall in love in 1970s Rome, only to be separated unexpectedly. They spend the next 30 years searching for each other. At the beginning of the movie Aenea, a hopeful film student with dreams of making it big in the film industry, and Pietro, a medical student who had come to Rome to care for his mother during her surgery came to watch a movie at cinema. Following their initial encounter, Aenea and Pietro found themselves captivated by one another to the point that they couldn't stop thinking about each other. Aenea, unlike Pietro, was unafraid of exploring his own sexuality and had previously engaged in similar encounters. However, Pietro held a special place in Aenea's heart. Despite their differences, an immediate and profound connection formed between them. Aenea suggested meeting at a friend's grandmother's vacant house, though Pietro initially had reservations. Yet, when he read Aenea's heartfelt message on the map, he became convinced that their feelings were mutual. For Pietro, this was a unique experience as he had never been so intimately involved with another man before and had grappled with accepting his own truth. However, Aenea's presence provided him with the confidence he needed, which is why they decided to rendezvous at the agreed-upon location. While the city carried on with its everyday activities, these two lovers came together and found themselves unable to get enough of each other. The memories of that entire day would forever be etched in both Pietro and Aenea's minds, as it turned out to be the only time they spent together. Aenea had returned to Nuovo Olimpo, and as he engaged in a heated discussion with Alice, their friend Titty suggested a compromise, Aenea should bring Pietro to the protest. This news brought Aenea relief, as he discovered that Pietro had already arrived and eagerly waited for their meeting. Regrettably, he had to decline Alice's offer and proceeded into the movie theater to rendezvous with Pietro once more. Pietro, with a reservation made for them at a restaurant, hoped to spend quality time together, much like any ordinary couple. However, before their romantic evening could commence, Pietro needed to visit his mother at the hospital. He left Nuovo Olimpo ahead of time, and as fate would have it, the clash between student protesters and the police erupted in chaos. In the midst of this turmoil, Pietro found himself in a mishap, resulting in a broken arm. Aenea, concerned for Pietro's safety, rushed out of the movie theater in search of him. Unfortunately, amidst the turmoil, he failed to spot Pietro in the crowd. A decade after their initial encounter, Aenea decided to create a film documenting their brief yet intense romance. When the film was eventually released, it achieved instant success, drawing an unexpected viewer, Pietro, who had no idea that it was a portrayal of his relationship with Aenea. At this point, Pietro had become a doctor and was married to a woman. He had never shared his past with Aenea with his wife, Julia, and considered their interaction insignificant. Watching the film left him feeling unsettled, a fact that Julia picked up on. Although Pietro tried to divert her attention, Julia sensed that he was concealing a secret from his past. Pietro attempted to reconnect with Aenea, revisiting the old movie theater, now transformed into an adult establishment. Pietro ventured down the hallway and encountered Aenea's former friend, Molotov. Unfortunately, this encounter did not yield any meaningful results, causing Pietro to once again abandon the idea of contacting Aenea. Meanwhile, Alice introduced Aenea to Antonio, and although their connection wasn't as instantaneous as the one with Pietro, Aenea gradually developed an interest in Antonio. They eventually married in 1993, but a part of Aenea held on to the hope of a chance encounter with Pietro. Fate brought them close, but they never crossed paths again. As Aenea established himself as a director, he lost contact with Titty, and it came as a pleasant surprise to him when he encountered her at the supermarket. He felt remorseful for not maintaining their connection, but Titty harbored no ill feelings. 
She knew that Ania had always held genuine affection for her and had celebrated his successes from a distance. During their reunion, Ania discovered that after the protest, Pietro had returned to the movie theater with hopes of reuniting with Ania. He had written a letter for Ania and entrusted it to Titi, but Ania had never returned to Nuovo Olimpo. The phone number provided in the letter was now defunct, leaving Ania to lament the choices he had made in the past. Antonio offered unwavering support to Ania, standing by him in all his moods and moments of sorrow. As a dedicated partner and production manager, Antonio did his best to be present even on days when he couldn't fully grasp Ania's emotions. Meanwhile, Pietro secretly observed Ania discussing his loving husband in an interview. Ania had always been open about his sexuality, and his films often revolved around his personal experiences. Deep down, Pietro might have felt a twinge of envy for Ania's courageous and open approach to living his truth, while he himself remained concealed. This situation strained Pietro and Julia's marriage, as she desired to start a family, and Pietro's absence weighed heavily on their relationship. Many years had passed, and it was now the year 2015. Inia continued to direct films while Antonio meticulously handled the intricate details of their productions. Inia had a particular scene in mind that required simulating an explosion, and they used a prop to achieve the desired effect. However, as Inia directed for the prop to be adjusted slightly, the string securing it came loose, causing glass powder to inadvertently enter his eyes. Inia was rushed to the hospital, coincidentally the same hospital where Pietro now worked as a surgeon. Upon realizing that the patient in need of surgery was his former lover, Pietro decided to perform the operation. The surgery was a success, and though it wasn't the reunion he might have envisioned, Pietro felt relieved that he could assist Inia. During their interactions, Pietro was taken aback by the genuine concern and care shown by Inia's husband, Antonio. This made him realize that he should keep his distance from Inia. In the course of their limited conversations, Inia had a sense of familiarity with the doctor, but Pietro never disclosed the truth. By the time Inia had fully recovered, Pietro refused to meet him in person. However, Julia insisted on inviting Inia to a gathering, compelling Pietro to face reality. Inia and Pietro finally reunited after 37 years. Surprisingly, their meeting didn't involve a grand declaration of love, instead, there were subtle nods and secret glances exchanged during dinner. Pietro could deceive the world but not his wife, and Julia encouraged him to pursue his feelings for Inia instead of continuing to live a facade. Pietro was initially hesitant, but he eventually gave in to his desire to rekindle the love they once shared. He caught up with Inia, although the reunion didn't turn out to be the happy ending they might have expected. Pietro was content that they still remembered each other, unaware of how fervently Inia had searched for him over the years. Pietro simply wanted Inia to keep their love alive in his memories, as both had moved on in their lives. Thank you for watching.